Today, we'll be covering the Gamble Crusher audio unit, or VST, whatever you're using. I don't think they have a VST available for this. So, to start out with, we have a basic, like, kind of drum break here. So, you might be asking yourself, Wow, whoever wrote this wasn't good enough. I want to add my own edge to it. And then, well, what could I use? All the boring <laughs> uh, plugins that Ableton already has? No. But I don't want to pay for more plugins. Why would I do something silly like that? Well, I have the solution for you. There's this awesome, quirky distortion plugin. I happen to use a lot. I, I, I genuinely do use this a lot. I think it's a real good plugin, especially considering it's free. And also the GUI is terrible, but I think that's what adds to the charm of it. And I feel like if it has a bad GUI, I feel like that means it's extra saucy. It's got it's got a good sound to it. If the <laughs> if the GUI looks terrible like this, I think we got something going here. So let's go back to our original drum break. Uh, this is the preset I kind of use. It, it just like gives more oomph to it, but it doesn't add like too much character. So, <clears throat> so this is what it's like without it. And this is what it's like with it. So you, you already see like these, it's pretty laid out in the GUI about what's happening. So currently there are three things in use. We got distortion right here. We have tube and mechanical. So there's like classic tube sound, which adds warmth and mechanical, which also adds warmth, but like in a different way, it gives it more character. Then we have a compressor. The compressor is just like set at one thing, but you can mix in the amount. So the fat mode is like an extra effect upon it. And so that would be used, uh, I mean, when you're trying to add, you know, so an extra edge of distortion. And so this would be the fat mode would be more heard the more amount you have up. So let's give it a listen. Let's give it a listen with it on. Wow, it's like you're at a rave and your ears are blown out. Anyways, so and then we have the master. This is. A pretty rudimentary master however you know it's not the point for it to be mastered but <clears throat> it basically it maximizes the level of what it's at so and the mix is like kind of like a dry wet on this one so So yeah, um, so then let's try the filter out with this. And so the filter is just a low pass filter, but it's a very like analog sounding one because it sounds like kind of like an analog one. And then you can control the resonance. So. <laughs> So, you might be asking yourself, I'm presented with four materials in one plugin. For one, that's a lot of me, for me to handle. But on top of that, how do I get them to work in tandem to make a good sound? Well, you don't need to. Watch this. <laughs> well, let's, let's, let's go ahead. That was probably the most boring random it could have picked. Let's try that one again. That's that's like nothing. <laughs> so 
So, there's a lot of things you can do with it, as you can tell. <clears throat> Unnoticeable editing cut. Alright. No, no chemical crusher. It's, it's not your time. OTT. OTT. I, I want to say OTT. -T. Uh, uh, there's a lot of momentum with my mouth when I'm speaking, and I feel like that's kind of an insult that you can use against me, but that's okay. Um, so you're presented with a lot of knobs and three what seems gauges. Well, that's exactly what it is. In fact, you don't need me to tell you what it is when it has the description on it. <laughs> Multiband upwards and downwards compressor. So... What makes this more unique than your average multi-band compressor is that it has a very, once again, unique and edgy algorithm of compression. And this is a little bit like unexplained why it sounds the way it does. But what I can tell you is that whatever is labeled on here is not <laughs> properly labeled. For example, you have the depth, which is basically also a dry wet knob it, it works off a of parallel compression and this is how much of the parallel you're mixing in basically the time is how long it's compressed and which is once again like another like way of mixing it and so it could be like oh release like this oh uh, attack like this and then like it's basically like a way to mix in how much another way of mixing how much compression without any phasing issues because that's what happens when you like if you just like straight up mix in and out a compressor you get a lot of phasing issues and you don't want to do that you're a smart producer you wouldn't ever do that right that's what i thought <laughs> and then the in gain is kind of like a threshold i so like a threshold of six uh, however you want when you're mixing whatever and this this, this plugin can have a lot of creative use just as much as practical use and the use of it practically like people go insane on these like yeah i'm a master i got four otts after one another and they're all like and then like it doesn't sound distorted at all it just sounds great and i'm like why would you do that <laughs> But like it works, I think it's just to flex. It's like, yeah, I got four OTTs and a sound goodizer and a camel crusher. No limiter on my, no limiter on my master. What are you gonna do? I, I aspire to be like that. And then this is basically the makeup for it, uh, the out gain, makeup gain on more conventional compressors. And then you basically have the mix in of the highs, the mids, the lows. And then the downward is how much like downward compression is going on, and then how much upward compression is going on. And so, well, I just want to give you the raw OTT experience. I have a, I had a moment of like deja vu. I, I, I remember doing this. But this is the first time it had this computer has had OTT installed. I live in the Matrix, and you don't. That's the only. Oh shit! 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 Sh oh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> when you do the bit where it's like all censored, and when it's just well, you don't know if it's censored. You don't know if I was doing something something bad. I mean, it was just now. It just sounds like yeah, okay. Um, without OTT. Boring with Like certain transients pop out a little more. Well, I mean, yeah, they do pop out a little more. Yeah. 
but um, both these plugins are free and I feel like it's worth going over. As I said, these are two more things that you can have in your tool belt that are free and full of personality, just like me. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. These things are incredibly powerful and I don't even do them enough justice. There's a lot of things to be explored here. And that's for you to find out and me to copy. All right, y'all. I'll be heading out. Bye.